All right, good evening, crew. This is my character professional security journal. Pardon me as I finish my can of Red Bull. All right, so uh, tonight I'm working on the logo for my security company, Training Group, not Field Operations. I have officially, me and my business partner have officially formed our legal LLC. So we're officially formed and legalized in the state of Arizona. So with that being said, I'm currently working on my working on my laptop, so I'm not looking at the phone. I'm just going to be talking this video. I'm going to be uh, working on this, so I got nothing to show y'all. But yes, um, damn, I totally brain blank where I was going. I'm sorry. Yes, so we're we're legally formed in Arizona, um, but with us being legally formed, I can run training here in the state of Nevada. So. Bombshell has been dropped. If you are in the states of Arizona or Nevada, and soon the state of Utah, and you need private security instruction, please reach out to us. Information's forthcoming. The website last I checked was up, but last night it was up, but I checked it again while I was on duty from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's 10.55 p.m. right now for context, so I'm two hours-ish since I got off, while I was on that 1 to 9 shift, I checked the website and it, for some reason, went down again. I'm typing it in. Yeah, we're still down. I just typed it. So we're still down. So if you would like training in Nevada or Arizona for now, please reach out to me on Instagram at the Professional Security Journal. Steal the, steal the spelling from this YouTube channel. You can find the, uh, you could find the channel... Yeah, you can find the channel. You can find this brand on Instagram. And I use brand. I'm using that verbiage here for a particular reason. I will be moving most of my... I don't know how to articulate it. I will be moving most of my information, most of my educational videos, to a YouTube channel that is yet to be set up. I, I'm more or less making this video just, just to kind of lay the groundwork for you folks. I will be moving most of my education slash information slash training videos to that forthcoming YouTube channel that will basically be the company's uh, YouTube. Eventually, I will be uprooting from Nevada and I will actually be moving to Arizona. And my buddy, my business partner, is basically a command executive. He's office staff in this agency. I'm not naming the employer. I don't want to name the company that my buddy works for, but my buddy works for a company in Arizona, and he is executive. He is command staff. He is office staff, and he has told me straight up he's not going to hire me less than soup. This is my business partner telling me, when you come to Arizona, I'm... I'm making you part of my inner circle. In the meantime, in the next two to three months, I will be going up to Arizona to do the initial courses under our under our training group, training um, his company's officers. So as I'm sitting here working on the logo, things are already moving, things are already going to fruition. Um... But yes, I wanted to make this video more or less just to say big, big things are happening. I'm very excited. It doesn't seem like it right now, but on the inside, I'm like... So, um, yeah, right now I'm literally working on the logo. I'm going through clip art right now, and I'm making... Uh, I'm gathering up all the little clip arts that I like, and I'm going to be making a logo from the clip arts and the, what, uh, what um, images I've made for myself already. So... For those who don't know me, if you're seeing this for the first time, my name is Mike. I am a current, since I know I've stated I'm moving to Arizona in the next year, in the next year or so. That's, that's my plan. I actually didn't drop that timeline yet. But yes, my lease in, in Las Vegas, I signed it for a year in February. So in February of 25 is when I'm, I'm staying in Vegas for this lease and then I'm piecing. But um, yes, for the moment... 
My name is Mike Scheidel. I'm a private security officer in the city of Las Vegas presently. I'm a credentialed ASP AIC instructor with that ASP host quality credential through ASP Armament Systems and Procedures, the baton manufacturer. I am credentialed to teach in, obviously, batons, but it's an integrated course. You get batons, handcuffing, and defensive flashlight. I could teach you how to stun somebody with the flashlight and play with light effectively. Um, it's an integrated course for those three op for those three implements. So I'm a baton, handcuffing, and flashlight instructor through ASP AIC, through Sabre International, through the through that very famous pepper spray manufacturer. I have two different credentials. I have the aerosol irritant projector. I have an OC can credential. I could teach you how to use a duty can you would commonly find on, on an officer's belt. But I'm, I also took, in the last year while I was still in the state of Utah, I took the fourth ever Sabre International 0.68 uh, less lethal munitions course, I could teach you how to shoot a pepper ball gun. So through Saber, I'm also a .68 pepper ball instructor. Those are my two credentials through Saber. I got ASP, I got OC CAN and OC GUN, and then I, I'm an Axon Taser public safety law enforcement instructor. Uh, within the next two weeks here, I'm counting down the days, June 4th, I'm going to be driving down to Cali, June 4th is my Taser renewal. My Axon credential is extended by the manufacturer due to the fact that I should have expired in November, December of 2023, but due to an extended duration of no training, no classes, it was a stand down directly by Taser. Due to an extended duration, Taser extended the, our licenses to the end of June. So I need a course by June 31, otherwise my instructor credential is going to where I would not be able to instruct until I took a new course. So I haven't done anything with any of these credentials yet. That's changing with this security training group. But if, I, if for whatever reason I can't go to that June course and, you know, I don't happen to, uh, I need to be able to extend myself out beyond June and my credential gets deactivated to where it's like don't train anybody. Um, I don't really care to be honest right now. I will need it for this training group. The business concept me and my partner have is duty belt in a week. So my partner is an NRA law enforcement instructor. I got all the less lethal. Everything you would commonly find on a police officer's duty belt. Pepper spray, baton, taser. I got all the less lethal. My partner is more or less a deadly force instructor. He has an NRA law enforcement uh, credential. So th between us two, we have a duty belt. The business concept for us going forward is eventually going to be duty belt in a week. So eight day, eight, eight hour days in training with for a five day work week, you pay us $500, we'll give you everything you need in a week. Uh, you spend a work week with us, you're going to come out with the paper, you're going to come out with your certificates for everything you would find on a duty belt. That's the business concept. Now in the near future, June, July, maybe August, when I start going out to Arizona, um, we're going to do like baton, taser, and pepper spray. We're, we're just doing less lethal. We're, we're kind of dipping our toes into the water. We're not doing everything. But, you know, we're going to do little onesies, twosies. We're going we're to do less lethal. We're basically going to do like maybe an unarmed officer's bundle where it's like we're going to give you the paper. We're going to give you the certificates and less lethal for unarmed officers. That way, should you use force, and you know you find yourself in court, you can talk to your you can talk yourself on the stand with certificates. Because I have always said, my cat has the zoomies. I've always said on this channel, it's much easier to talk yourself on the stand with paperwork than talking out of your ass and more or less <laughs> in court. Because the mindset you should have in private security is, if you ever use your belt. You can expect to be subpoenaed, you expect to find yourself on the stand, and you and you can expect to wind up in court having to explain yourself. So once again, if you use your belt, it's far easier to talk yourself on the stand with certificates than, you know, <laughs> talking out your ass. That's me being blunt. So, name of the company is forthcoming. We already have it, but I'm not ready to drop it on YouTube yet, so it's at details are forthcoming, but this was a video for you folks. Things are moving, 
and eventually I will be in Arizona. I will be I will be in Arizona soon. That's the plan. Um and all right, so that's all I have for that. And I more or less need to vent for a couple minutes. So if you're if you're if you're just here for this bit, I'm going to do my spiel for you folks. If you want to stay, if you want to stay for my venting, I would appreciate you guys hearing me out. But other than that, if you're just here for that, that's it for you folks. I'll do my spiel. This is Mike here the Professional Security Journal. Y'all stay safe out there. Take it easy. Take pride in what you do in our profession. Please stay vigilant. Stay situationally aware. And other than that, I'll see you on the next video. There you go. All right. Me venting. Um, I have not wanted to be on YouTube for a little bit, um, due to the fact that I'm going through some stuff in my personal life. Um, while I was, in, while I was a government contractor last year in Utah, um, within my contract team, we had a couple of deaths. Uh, one federal law enforcement officer committed suicide. Uh, one was shot and killed in the line of duty. And one I provided aid to and they, they, they passed, they passed while I was caring for them. So, um, kind of hard for me to talk about on camera, but all of this was in the last two months in 2023 to where it was like March, April, May, kind of all this happened while I was in Utah. So I've just been dealing with anniversaries more or less. And I haven't been on YouTube because I've been depressed I've been dealing with these emotions, and at the same time, um, I'm going to be upfront with you guys. One of them happened to be the girl I was dating at the time. So, yeah. Um, so, with all of that being said, I haven't... How do I word it? I'm going to word it like this, even though I think it, it'll it'll sound weird. I haven't felt compelled to be on YouTube just as I go through this stuff. And then at the same time, um, I've been working seven days a week with, with the new uh, employer. Um, six, seven guards have already resigned in this 30-day introductory period since Cascadia merged into Pal American. Um, six, seven of our guards resigned. And they all happen to be Cascadia folks. So um, as I've been wearing a suit and as I've been looking my best in a suit guarding this watch boutique, um, I'm only one of like four or five guards that are actually working that watch boutique. So it's been a shit show because if you ever have ever been to Vegas and, you know, we're wearing suits, it fucking sucks. So I have been working seven days a week, zero days off. Um, I've, I've been I've I've been worn. I've been worn out. So, um, I'm going to be working seven days a week for a good bit here in the near future. So, um, I'm going to try to be on YouTube, but guys, I'm going to be very upfront with y'all. I'm, I'm fucked. And by I'm fucked, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. So, um, I haven't had, as I've been also dealing with those feelings, I really haven't felt the energy, literally have not felt the energy to come out here and make videos and other gobbledygook because, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just want to take a quick, a quick couple of minutes and explain myself to y'all because I, I don't know what it is about me being here on YouTube, but I, I feel accountable to the security community. So this is just me wanting to explain myself to you guys being like, hey, it's been a little bit Maybe it hasn't, but it's felt like a long time to me, and I just wanted to explain why. So that's my venting. Um, 
that's why I haven't been on YouTube for, you know, the duration. I haven't been here on YouTube. I think it's only been like two weeks, but still, you know, I've been fucked. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to try to make another video, maybe tomorrow or something. Um, I want to talk about some stuff, some gear that I found online that I'm actually really excited for. Um, I just can't purchase it yet because, well, I think I, I think I talked about my landlord in, in the, in those couple minutes of venting, uh, me owing my landlord oodles of money because there were some adjustments made to my account and I was waiting for the adjustments and this and that. So just time got away from me. Now all of a sudden I owe two months of rent and I'm just like, fuck. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not spending, I'm not spending on, I'm not spending on security for a bit. But there are some things, there are some gear that I found online that I want to talk about. And I want to touch on a, um, I want to touch on a free field training video and more or less kind of talk about my build, my duty belt build around that video. So those are kind of videos that are going to be coming down the pipe when I'm, when I feel up to making them. Don't hold me to, don't hold me to a date. I'm not saying I'll see you in a week. I'm not saying in two weeks. I'm not saying anything. When I have the energy to film, I will film. I'm. I literally have been, Like I said, I've been. I worked a one p.m. to nine p.m. shift. It's eleven oh eight right now. It's sixteen and a half minutes into this video. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm like working myself here. <laughs> so, yeah. So when I when I will when I can film, I will film. But other than that, guys, that's that's my venting session for y'all. Uh, if you watch the venting part, I appreciate you folks. So second time doing the spiel because I'm going to end it here. This is my character professional security journal. Y'all stay safe out there. Take it easy. Take pride in what you do in our profession. Please stay safe. Please stay situationally aware. And other than that, I'll see you guys next video. Things are coming. Things are coming and I'm very, very excited. So yeah. All right. See you guys next time.